What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. It is Monday, it is 6pm and let us have a look at what EA may or may not have given us for today. So sadly, once again, no uh, milestone objectives. Well, maybe there is milestone objectives, there's just no new objectives at all at the moment. And so we should have a look at what they have given us for the SBCs. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the content and you want to drop a thumbs up on the video... It would be very much appreciated. Let's start with the leagues. Maybe we get a new league SBC. We've still got 30 days on the MLS. There's no new league SBC there. There's no new icons in there either. So let's have a look. Oh, there is Pedro Goncalves right there. Um, as a future stars. There's that Brewster card that's still there, of course. What a waste he is. Wayne Rooney, El Nesri, and Frank Ribery. So just... The, uh, the Pedro card there, guys, to start with. So it is another player pick pack. It would be good to get a showdown uh, back as well, wouldn't it? But earn a special foot future stars pick of Pedro Goncalves. Which version would you choose? Let us have a look at what we've got here. We've got an 87 centre mid and an 87 right wing. That's quite interesting. Um, I'll, I'll be honest, just looking at both of these cards straight away, they are far behind the power curve of the current game state. I think even that, that right wing... I don't even think he's as good as like the Delefeu, um card that we had from what we're talking like 10 weeks ago now. Um, and the Goncalves card, he's, I mean, he's well-rounded, but on an extremely low end. So the center mid there with 82 pace, 81 shooting, 83 passing. We'll go and have a look at the in-game stats in a second. 87 dribbling, 77 defending and 72 physical. It's just a bit meh. Who cares? It's boring. Um, the same with the right wing. Um, you know, good pace and decent dribbling, but shooting and passing aren't great. Physical's not great. Depends on his skill moves and weak foot as well, so we'll have to have a look at that. Uh, but first, we're going to have a look at what it's actually going to cost. And it's going to cost an 83 rated with an inform and 80 chemistry for a jumbo premium goal pack. And it's all going to also going to cost an 84 rated with an inform and 75 chemistry. That's quite expensive. That's over 100,000 coins. About 140, I think. 130, 140. For that, that's not... I just don't think that's worth it. I just don't think that's worth it. So there is the daily objectives are back. You don't get the uh, one-player pack at the moment, unfortunately, for that. And like even if you look at like this here, the Gonzalo Geds, that is extremely similar to that Pedro card. Like, extremely similar. We're going to have a look in a second. And it's just it's just pointless. It's just absolutely pointless. Um, so we don't have anything for objectives. And we certainly don't have anything for milestones. And we don't have new icons. And we don't have new league SBCs. And it just makes you think, what are EA actually doing with this game? But let's go and take a look at, first of all, the in-game stats before we start comparing the two uh, to other alternative cards. Assuming that we've got the in-game stats already. Uh, we have indeed. So here we go. Let's have a look. So this is the uh, centre mid version. Of course, he's been giving 8 pace, 23 defending and 18 physical, 8 passing, 10 shooting and 7 dribbling. It's, it's just such a dead card, isn't it? It is... There is nothing outstanding about this card. Nothing at all. You pop an anchor on him. Not fast enough. Not good enough defending. Physicals aren't quite good enough. Passing is okay. Um, shooting is okay for a you know midfielder. Dribbling is okay. Maybe you want to play him in a, more of an attacking role, but then his dribbling is not so good. He has got 4-star, four 4-star. Four is that an upgrade from his base card? No, it's not. Um, but he has got four star, four star, which is quite nice and, and makes me think I'd certainly want to play him as more of an attacking player. You know, good shooting, uh, good passing with a dead eye, but physical's not the best. Defending's quite nice and dribbling's just okay. Maybe put a marksman on him, not just not good enough. A hawk, absolutely not. An artist, definitely not. The maestro just doesn't work. The dribbling is just going to be way too heavy. Uh, maybe an engine for that passing, but then he's not fast enough. Like, this, this for me personally, is just such a run-of-the-mill card. Uh, like, sure, he has relatively high defensive stats for a centre mid, which is one big, big, like, bonus, I suppose. But it's just not the one for me. And then the right wing, also just four-star, four-star. Uh, so compared to the centre mid, has got less, uh, well, more pace, more shooting, uh, more, more physicals other than stamina, way less defending. Uh, he's actually got more agility, balance, and reactions, but less dribbling and composure. And then he's got more crossing, but less passing across the board. This, for me, is already just a way better card, right? Th th this one is certainly decent. It's much like the uh, Bruno card. Uh, the CDM card looked incredible compared to the center mid card. 
And so with, with this one, I mean, a sniper, I probably wouldn't put on him. A finisher is not bad. He's got a good pace, four-star, four-star, very good shooting, good agility and balance and dribbling. Uh, Passing is not great. Physical is quite nice. Uh, you can pop a dead eye on him. That's a bit more like it. You know, I put a 92 cam, great shooting and passing, a much, much better dribbling than the other one. Um, the marksman, probably not for me. The hawk, probably not for me. Uh, of course, the defensive side of things, you're not going to be interested in. But, and and, and here, here is the problem, especially, as I say, him coming in with an 84 plus an inform and high chem and an 83, uh, I think it was plus an inform and high chem, is that when we compare him, and let's start with uh, Delefeu. This Delefeu card, can we find out when this was released? This was released the 26th of November. So this has been out for all of December, all of January, and like two weeks more. So yeah, literally 10 weeks ago. I couldn't have been more on the money with that. And this Delefeu card has more pace by four, more dribbling by three, also has four star, four star, has one more passing, only has four less shooting and three, sorry, three less shooting and four less physical. Um, and it, it's like, how how can EA release this Delafeu card that you could play for? It wasn't even that difficult or that challenging um, 10 weeks ago. And then this Geds card, which was released the 8th of January. So exactly four, well, exactly one month ago, not necessarily four weeks. It's like four and a half weeks or whatever. And this Geds card, also four star, four star, uh, has the same pace, the same physical, one less passing, one less shooting, and just three less dribbling. And it's arguable that these two are more favourable because they're in much, much, much better leagues. Okay, Pedro has got a great nation to link to so many players, but we've already had a Portuguese right wing uh, very recently in Cristiano Ronaldo as an SBC. Yeah, sure, you can actually link him to uh, Geds, right? But this doesn't just doesn't add up. Why? Why this is a this bad or b this expensive? If it was this bad and very cheap, sure, you're happy with that. If it was this expensive and like a 90 rated card instead, sure, you're also happy with that. But coming in, uh, as I say, what is it? It's an 84 with an inform and high chem and an 83 with an inform and high chem. Let's go and have a look at what that is going to cost because it's not coming in just yet. Uh, so the 85 rated squad was... Oh, so 84 rated squad was only 40 chem at 75k. So the fact that it's an inform and more uh, chemistry... We're probably going to be looking at about 90k. I think we'll have to go to an icon to get an 84 rated squad like that. What's Cannavaro saying? Yeah, th this right here, the Los Blancos. Look at that, 84 rated, 75 chemistry, one in form, and a Real Madrid player. And it's coming at 100,000 coins. And then an 83 rated squad with an in form will be about 40,000 coins. So this uh, this Pedro Goncalves will be about 140,000 coins for a card that is just nowhere near good enough for that kind of money if we look at hyung min son uh where is he that's edison here's hyung min son son has got two less pace one less dribbling same shooting two less passing obviously has five star four star he's 35k right it's, it's just i i just don't get it i literally just don't get it and i believe that's all the content for today so i guess today's content guys that is all the content for today today's content there you go it's coming in initially at like 160 so it will drop down to about 140 maybe 150 ish mark 150k for this card is just an absolute ripoff it's a joke it's an awful awful sbc and i would highly recommend you just don't do it uh, but that is going to be the end of the video for today if you did enjoy it be sure to leave a like rating comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and for now i'm out Peace.